Morning everybody. Man, it's a cold one out here again today in Southwest Missouri. I think we're supposed to be down like below zero this weekend. And it's probably, man, single digits right now. And I don't have any heat in my tackle room. I never, I've never had any heat out here. So it's always really cold out here working. I got a little space heater I turn on, but it doesn't really do much out here. So a little chilly out here this morning doing the tip. But anyway, today I'm going uh, to talk about one of my old time favorite baits of all time and that's the soft plastic lizard been around forever um, it's one that i still use a ton in the pre-spawn and i've got a modification and a rigging system with it that i want to share with you guys that i guarantee will add up to more bites for you but anyway before we get started a little bit here um i know i've been doing a lot of bait tip stuff and if you guys are ever interested in trying some of the stuff that i'm talking about um, i've included the uh, fish the moment tackle warehouse link in the description here and if you guys would like to order from Tackle Warehouse and you go through the link, uh, Johnny and I get a small percentage of those uh, proceeds uh, for Fish the Moment. So we appreciate that if you guys want to order some baits. So anyway, let's get into this a little bit here. Um, first of all, like I said, lizards have been around forever. They're really the original creature bait. Um, they're the first bait that really, you know, had a different look to it than plastic worms. And, uh, you know, to me, they're still as effective now as they were when they just came out. And a couple different things I want to show you that I do with them, my modifications to it. First of all, let's just uh, talk a little bit about the lizard. Um, lizards I use are the six and eight inch zoom uh, lizard right here. This is just super soft, great lizard, comes in a lot of different colors. And this is how most people rig the thing, just like this. You can take a look at it. Texas rig setup, you know, three or four out hook, that type of setup. And, you know, it'll catch fish great like this. You know, there's you know, no doubt they will. But I'll show you what I do to my lizards to get some more bites with them. Um, first of all, I'm going to go through the whole system, how I rig it up here and how I modify it. First of all, uh, as everybody knows, let's, let's break our plastics up, you know, with the salt. So we go through there, rub them up. And another way with this I talked about before, is sometimes it's even faster. If you lay these things flat just on a table or something and you, you can take a knife edge and you can scrape along the knife edge and get them roughed up too. That helps too. But the, one of the big things about roughing plastics up is not only I think it makes the bait look better, but also it softens the bait up and makes it easier to get a hook into the fish. So here's the, the difference in the look of it just from just a couple seconds of working on it. Notice the difference on that? And man, you really notice that in the water. When you put that in the water after you break the salt up, it really makes it look a lot better. So I want you to take a look at the head here on this lizard. This is the one that I've already rigged up. Take a look at that right there, how that looks. This is the first thing I do to my lizards to make them look a lot better. Take the lizard right here. And like I said, I prefer the eight inch most of the time. Um, I'll, I'll use six sometimes, like if I'm fishing places that don't have a big a fish, but in the pre-spawn, I prefer the eight inch zoom lizard. Here's the big key, the big modification that I'm gonna tell you guys about. Take the lizard and cut the head off. Just, just right, just right above the legs, right here. So you got it like that. Now what this does is I'm gonna show you when I set it up here what the difference in the look here. Come through about, you know, probably eighth or quarter of an inch, like that on the head. Always come through the flat side of the lizard, not the other side, the flat side. So I'll come back through my lizard. And I'm going to set the sinker down here. There you go. And notice how much more compact and natural that looks like. Actually, at this point, the sinker has become the head of the lizard. And I'm going to go ahead and rig it up here the rest of the way to show you. First of all, when you're rigging the lizard, um, never put the hook right back in the center of the bait like this like that. You don't want to do it like that because this lizard has a lot of thick plastic on it. So what I like to do on it is I skin hook it on the side with, I've got a straight shank, Gamagatsu G finesse worm hook on here, straight shank. And I come in just on the side like that. See, notice, see, see it's just skinning through the side. And what that does is when you get that bite, it allows that hook just to break away from the plastic real easy. So makes another thing you have to do is make sure your sinker's on there cor correctly because sometimes your the uh, tag end of your line will make it crooked. 
So here's the difference in the look. I got the two lizards up here. It's all about attention to detail here. Here's the original lizard out here, just how most people have fished the package. And here's the modification that I use on it, like there. Like I said, the little bit more natural looking head design on there, got the hook barely in there. And of course, I'll finish it out, you know, like I always do in soft plastics a lot of time, with a little bit of chartreuse on the tail. And that just sort of gives it, just sort of gives it a little bit of a flash in the pre-spawn. Got it so cold out here, my my dye's not working very good on my pen. But I'll try to get a little on there. Doesn't take much. I just like just a little bit of a little bit of color on it. Not much at all. Just about like that. So here's my tournament rig lizard, ready to go. Set up like that. A little bit of chartreuse on the tail. Got that like that. Now a couple of different things on these lizards here. Uh, a little bit, a couple more tips on it is on the lizard. A lot of times I like to use the lightest slip sinker I can get by with it. I fish a lizard mainly in the pre-spawn uh, when the water temperatures are like between say 55 to 65 degrees as I found out when the lizards work really good. And I like to use an eighth ounce sinker if I can, no more than a 3 16 ounce because most of the time I'm fishing this lizard around shallow type cover. If you have lakes that have any type of shallow bank grass like gator grass, water willows, that type of stuff, it's really good. Shallow reeds, you know, lay downs, shallow docks. But I found even on this eighth ounce on this eight inch size, if you go to the eighth ounce slip sinker, you just seem like it, you get a lot more bites on it. And if I fish a little bit deeper water or the wind's blowing a little bit, you know, I'll go up to the three sixteenths ounce. Also on the hooks, don't overpower a lizard with your hook. Most of the time I'm not flipping and pitching a lizard into heavy cover. I'm fishing it around a little bit sparser stuff. So I'm using like a three aught straight shake hook. You don't really want to go anything over a four aught on there because it sort of kills the action of the bait. Again, eighth ounce, three sixteenths ounce sinker, and most of the time I'm using fifteen to seventeen pound test uh, Seaguar floor, Seaguar and Vizex uh, fluorocarbon line on it. Uh, Tishing it on a flipping stick most of the time, uh, just regular Mega Bass Alkley's flipping stick, um, and just covering water with it. You know, lizard is a great bait just to go down a bank. In the springtime, it doesn't matter if it's a bear bank, if it's a bank that's got, you know, wood cover, whatever. It's just a great bank to cover water in that pre-spawn. And there's just something about it that in the springtime, bass like that lizard profile. And it's not that they, they eat lizards all the time and they're keen on the fact that it's a lizard. But I, I think it's just the combination of the action of the tails and the profile of the bait and the fall of the bait that makes it really effective. But anyway, just give give my little modification a, a tip here, or a try here. Just cut the head off your lizard, you know, rig it up like that. Um, I get a lot of bites with it. I will peg the sinker most all the time on it. I usually use a rubber peg. I don't, I don't like bobber stoppers. The only time I use bobber stoppers is if I'm pitching and uh, flipping you know, you know, like the one ounce weights or something like that, where you have to have it. But I don't like the added, uh, you know, visual deterrent that a bobber stopper gives. So I'll just peg it with a, with a, uh, just a regular peg it or a toothpick. And that's my setup right there. Give it a try this spring. As soon as that water temperature hits mid fifties, put these lizards on and, you know, you'll definitely get some bites with it. One final thing, colors on it. I keep it pretty basic. I either usually, usually use a green pumpkin with a chartreuse tail or I use solid black. Solid black works really good early, early in the year. When that water temperature first starts to get into the mid 50s, it seems like to me I can catch more and bigger fish uh, on the black lizard, particularly if you got water visibilities that are under two feet. <sighs> you can see my breath here, it's really cold. So anyway, I'm gonna go inside and get warmed up. Uh, thanks for tuning in guys. I appreciate uh, all the follows, appreciate the subscriptions. And we'll be back tomorrow with another tip. See ya.